What's up travelers? It's Alyssa from Means to Travel and today I'm coming to you from beautiful Santa Fe, New Mexico and I'm going to be sharing with you all my top tips for visiting Santa Fe. So let's just jump right in. My first tip is to definitely get out into nature. Whatever that means to you, whatever your ability level is, there's different ways in order to do that because the nature here is just unparalleled to a lot of other things even within the American Southwest. So some of my top favorites to do here are to go for a hike. There's several different options that are all different ability levels around Santa Fe. And then also, um, if you're up for it, maybe try out horseback riding too. There's really cool ranches around town and even maybe your hotel can help set you up with a great horseback ride experience. But if you are going to be doing any outdoor activities when you're here, do make sure to bring enough water, it is extremely dry here, and sun protection. Sunscreen, maybe clothes that cover up a lot of your skin, and also sunglasses of course too. You're not going to regret that. My second tip for visiting Santa Fe is to be sure to eat local foods and definitely try out those local flavors. So one of my favorite places to go to do that is the farmer's market here on the weekends that happens every weekend here in Santa Fe. You can go and see all of the different options that are grown locally, all of the different flavors, and even maybe take home some spices as a souvenir, which is something that I actually have done and can't wait to use at home. A lot of the recipes within this area of the country use hatch green chilies in them and jalapenos and that sort of thing. You can get different spice levels so depending on what your um, spice preferences are you can really figure out what the right um, level is for you and get different local foods to try. Another thing that's really popular here are breakfast burritos and especially ordering the breakfast burritos Christmas style so you have some like red sauce and green sauce and the burrito as well on the plate you will definitely want to try that because that is a very New Mexico Santa Fe thing to do. By the way, if you guys are liking this video so far, be sure to press the thumbs up and the subscribe button down below. It really helps the channel and helps support free travel content on YouTube. The third tip that I have for visiting Santa Fe is to make sure to experience the local arts and crafts culture. So you can do that in so many different ways. You can go into some of the local galleries and shops and all of the, the shopkeepers and artists that work those are, are going to be able to really rave about all of the ways that the, the local crafts are made. Um, you can also go visit different museums around town. One of the ones that we went to yesterday was the George O'Keefe Museum. And George O'Keefe did a lot of her later painting work um, at the Ghost Ranch area, which is outside of Santa Fe here. And you can see how she has inspired a lot of artists within the area locally as well. And it's become a huge artist community. Another way to experience the local arts and crafts culture is to maybe take a pottery class or a painting class or something like that. I'm here with my girlfriends on this trip and we did a pottery class together at Green River Pottery. There's also another place called Paseo that's pretty popular. If you've never ever done pottery before, which is how I would describe my experience with pottery, <laughs> um, I've never had a wheel experience before. It was so much fun to learn it here. It feels so genuine to the local culture and just a great way to experience Santa Fe. So if you go to museums, if you take a class, or if you just want to go shopping and explore some of the galleries in maybe the downtown Santa Fe area, there's just a, an abundance of ways to experience the local Santa Fe arts and culture that you don't want to miss. The fourth and last tip that I have for visiting Santa Fe, definitely make sure not to miss the local architecture. It is so unique and special to the New Mexico region and there's a ton of like adobe houses you can even see behind me, the hotel that I'm staying at is that traditional adobe structure and it blends in super well, at least we've experienced as we've driven around town and up through the canyons and stuff, it blends in with the local surroundings. So it doesn't look like each house is super different or stands out. Um, it all feels extremely genuine to the area. And when you're walking around even downtown Santa Fe, the historic architecture is really, really impressive. And it's just something that you can walk around for like an hour and go enjoy. So just definitely don't miss that local architecture because it is so special and usually just free to see. So those are my really important four tips for visiting Santa Fe. If you guys liked this video, please press the thumbs up button down below if there's any tips that I've missed too. We always love learning from each other on this channel, so be sure to put them in the comment section down below so that way we learn from each other in this community on means to travel. On top of that, be sure to press the red subscribe button too if you haven't already so you don't miss any of the travel vlogs, travel tips, travel videos that I have on this channel to come. Thanks so much for watching and enjoy your trip to Santa Fe. Cheers, happy travels, bye. Hey travelers, don't forget to subscribe 
and let's hang out more. Here are some links to other helpful travel videos on my channel, and press that notification bell so you don't miss any new and awesome travel videos to come.